Hi welcome back to my channel Glaza Magalanes. Iloilo, my hometown we called it. City of Love. History of Iloilo. Iloilo started as the settlement of the small group of fishermen. In 1855, this place became the second most important port for economy because of the place's shipping of sugar products from and to the neighboring Negros Island. Because of its continued rising, the place was named by Queen Regent of Spain as, La Muy Noble Ciudad, the most noble city. During the 20th century, Iloilo City was second to Manila City when it comes to economy with stores along Calle Real selling luxury products from all over the world. There was also an agricultural experiment station established at La Paz in 1888, a school of arts and trades which opened in 1891, and a telephone network system in 1894. In 1900, the Americans reverted the city's status into a township again. Yet because of its continuous commercial activities and because it was an important port of call in the Visayas Mindanao area, it regained the cityhood status on July 16, 1937. When the World War II broke out, Iloilo City became under the Japanese battalions. At the end of the war, the economy of Iloilo were badly damaged. There were also lots of casualties recorded. By the 1960s towards 1990s the economy in the city started to move forward again but in a slow pace. Fish ports were constructed, international seaport and other commercial firms that invested in Iloilo also marked the movement of the city. Now, it is the regional center of the Western Visayas. Iloilo is known as the heart of the Philippines. All right, we admit that a lot of destinations are tagged as the heart of the Philippines, and we don't mean to sound so jaded about this fact. But an interesting tidbit about Iloilo is that it's called the heart of the Philippines because of its geographical features. Bear with me for a bit as we tap into our inner science geeks. Iloilo Province is a part of Panay, a heart-shaped island found right smack in the middle of the Philippines. This central location truly proves handy especially for travelers who are looking to explore other parts of the country, but more on that later. Panay Island is also situated in the western portion of Visayas, one of the Philippines' three major island groups, the other two are Luzon in the north and Mindanao in the south. Considering the shape of Panay, plus the provinces, center-left, location, middle of the country, but at the western tip of the Visayas Island group. Iloilo literally looks like the heart of the Philippines, doesn't it? Being in the middle also affords Iloilo its coastal charm. That means more beaches and access to fresh seafood. Iloilo City, the province's capital, is an urbanized city so there are many enterprises around. Especially restaurants in Iloilo where to eat in Iloilo famous and delicious Iloilo food, or Iloilo delicacies as Filipinos call it. Iloilo is one of the provinces of the Philippines located in western Visayas. It's bordered by Antique to the west and Capiz to the north. Iloilo food is very unique and we're sure that you'll enjoy most of them. In this blog post, let's talk about where to eat in Iloilo to taste their local cuisine. Getting to Iloilo City by plane The fastest way to get to Iloilo City is definitely by plane. From Manila, you can fly to Iloilo for around 3,000 Philippine pesos or so for a round-trip ticket that lasts an hour. You can purchase cheaper flights online if you decide to book usually two to three months before your planned date of visit, go ahead and check out Cebu Pacific. Also, the weather can be a bit unpredictable. It could be boiling hot during the summer, or too rainy around December to January. So it's better if you mentally prepare yourself ahead of time, unless those are the type of climate you're used to then, welcome. Getting to Iloilo City from Iloilo Airport. You can hail a cab and ask to be dropped off at your destination. You can search in advance some rental cars and transportation services you can avail in Iloilo City. The Grab app is widely used in the city as well. Getting to Iloilo City by ship, boat. There are regular trips to and from Manila, Cebu, Cagayan de Oro, and Bacolod that are headed to Iloilo. The schedule and the trips can be modified and cancelled because of weather conditions, especially during the rainy season. Make sure you take a look at the weather during the rainy season. As part of the Philippine archipelago, Iloilo shares the humidity and two seasons of the country. 
It is common sense to travel to a city's dry season to explore all its best locations without worrying about the rain, but Iloilo is pretty much a year-round destination. The driest months and therefore the best time to visit Iloilo is from January to June. December is also a good time to visit, but you can expect high rates from hotels during this month. If you want to visit Iloilo during its low season, August is the best time to do so, though you should expect plenty of rain. The warmest months, on the other hand, are April to June. Whatever month you decide to visit. Make sure to have sunscreen with you as the heat of the sun is different in tropical and Asian countries like the Philippines. Stay hydrated at all times, too. Daily food budget travel to visit Iloilo. Fortunately, the cost of living in Iloilo is pretty low, especially compared to other island destinations. Decent meals can be afforded at 100 to 200 PHP and beer is also readily available at 40 to 60 PHP. Iloilo delicacies pretty cheap, right? Moving around Iloilo also isn't a problem with the abundance of transportation options here. You can start your trip with the flat rate of 9 Philippine pesos on the jeepney and 40 Philippine pesos on a taxi. There are plenty of hotels, inns and resorts in the city and all around the province. For as low as 400 minus 1000 Philippine pesos, you can book modest rooms at dorms, pension houses. Staying at a nice hotel is also inexpensive at 1300 to 2500 PHP. That's only $24 to $47 United States dollars per night. Those who want to splurge on accommodations will find establishments with rates of $55 to $95 United States dollars. Restaurants in Iloilo, where to eat in Iloilo. 1. Pit Stop Restaurant. This may sound odd but you have to taste their mango pizza and mango beef bulalo. After all, mangoes are one of the most famous fruits around Guimaras Island so this is one of the best foods you'll ever taste in Iloilo City. I guarantee it will become one of your favorites. You can visit the restaurant at SM Iloilo South Point where to eat in Iloilo delicious mango pizza. 2. Natong's Original Special La Paz Bachoy. Yes, Iloilo City is the home of the famous Filipino delicacy called bachoy, a kind of noodle soup. It is a must-try in Iloilo City and the best bachoy can be found at Natong's original special La Paz Bachoy in, La Paz Market, La Paz, Iloilo. It is one of the greatest staple food in the province and will always be one of the favorites of every Filipino and Ilongos. 3. Molo Mansion Cafe. Walking around Molo Plaza is a must to visit Molo Mansion and Molo Mansion Cafe where you can relax and have ice cream, coffee or trying local food in a quiet spot in Iloilo City. Ponset Molo is their most famous dish, which is made of soup with Chinese dumplings. Even though it has, Ponset, name, it doesn't really have noodles. Ponset, in Ponset Molo is actually the Molo Ball wrappers which has basically the same components as Ponset or noodles. It's a must in the list of restaurants in Iloilo. 4. P-U-N-O-T Restaurant. Ponset Molo, Iloilo Food, Restaurants in Iloilo, Best Restaurants in Iloilo, Where to Eat in Iloilo. Another place where to eat in Iloilo is Punat Restaurant located at Iloilo Riverside Boardwalk Complex. You can find the famous Ponset Molo here as well. This restaurant will give you relaxing, home ambiance while having a warm bowl of their delicious soup. 5. Café Panay. Tyrone, Iloilo Food, Restaurants in Iloilo, Best Restaurants in Iloilo, Where to Eat in Iloilo. Something you can't miss to visit to have some Iloilo food is Café Panay. Their simple yet homey restaurant is located at Festive Walk Parade in Iloilo Business Park. You have to try their Iloilo delicacies. Tyrone. Fried IBOS. Ponset Molo. And Socolate de Batteral. If you haven't heard of Tyrone yet, it is a Filipino dessert made of banana covered in an edible wrapper and fried in brown sugar. Also, fried IBOS is made of glutinous rice, so it's crispy and golden. It's served with muscovado sugar, mango puree or hot chocolate sauce for dipping since it doesn't taste sweet on its own. One of the most popular restaurants in Iloilo. 6. Tatoy's Native Lechon Manic. Lechon Manic, Iloilo Food, Restaurants in Iloilo, 
best restaurants in Iloilo, where to eat in Iloilo. One of the most famous places where to eat in Iloilo is Tatoy's. They serve yummy roasted native chicken. They call it, darog, and marinate it in vinegar and calamansi, local lime, and stuffed with tamarind leaves and lemongrass. It's definitely a must try. 7. Roberto's. Shopao from Roberto's, where to eat in Iloilo, restaurants in Iloilo. Though Shopao is commonly known in the Philippines to be Chinese food, there's an Iloilo version of this in Roberto's. They have an Iloilo food called Queen Shopao which is stuffed with bacon, sausage, egg, and adobo. Roberto's restaurant is located at JM Basa Street and is dubbed as one of the best restaurants in Iloilo because of their unique food. 8. Breakthrough. Baked Scallops, Iloilo Food, Restaurants in Iloilo, Best Restaurants in Iloilo, Where to Eat in Iloilo. Another one of the best restaurants in Iloilo is called Breakthrough, and it can be found at Villa Beach, Barangay Sto. Nino Norte, Arevalo in Iloilo. They serve fresh seafood, even the unusual ones like the Monogat Fish or Red Snapper and Angel Wing Shaped Diwal. They also serve the famous KBL. It stands for Katio's Pigeon Pea, Baboy, Pork, and Lanka, Jackfruit, the three main components of the dish. This soupy dish is cooked by making the pork very tender and adding the unique ingredients, Pigeon Pea and Jackfruit, to give KBL a distinct sour flavor. Sounds weird, right? I guess you'll just have to taste it. KBL is definitely a local favorite and a must-try for tourists. 9. Original Bizcocho House. Bizcocho you can't miss in restaurants in Iloilo to take home at least one box of bizcocho, or crispy buttered toast sprinkled with sugar. You must also try their pinasigbo, which are thin slices of caramelized banana sprinkled with some sesame seeds, and try as well their Iloilo delicacies barquios which are thin and crispy wafer rolls. Don't forget to try their famous butterscotch as well. You can find one of their branches at 33 Lopez Jaina Street, Jaro in Iloilo City. 10. Binakol Express. Iloilo Food, Where to Eat in Iloilo, Restaurants in Iloilo, Iloilo Delicacies. Located at Zaldariaga Compound in Takas, Iloilo City, is Binacol Express, where you can have another famous Iloilo food called Binacol, or Binaco. It is a kind of soup, similar to tinola, made from chicken cooked in coconut water with grated coconut, vegetables and herbs. More Iloilo food restaurants in Iloilo and where to eat in Iloilo. The next few places in our list are actually in Bacolod, a province near Iloilo where you can visit next. These provinces' cuisines are kind of similar to each other, and we recommend that you taste the famous dishes of these Iloilo delicacies too so you can taste more of Iloilo food and Filipino cuisine. 11. Enting Special of Sagai. Laxan Street in Bacolod is really famous for good restaurants and Enting's Restaurant is one of the best restaurants in Bacolod City to go to. Locals love their Kansi, Canillo, and Lechong Baca. Prices are affordable if you go in groups. You can pay for as low as 100 Philippine pesos per person per meal. 12. Negros Museum Cafe. Negros Museum Cafe, if you are heading in Gatushlau Street in Bacolod, don't forget to stop by Negro's Museum Cafe. They serve high-quality Filipino, French, Asian, and Mediterranean dishes for any meal of the day. You should definitely try their sandwiches, salads, steaks and many more. One good thing about Negro's Museum Cafe is that they source their ingredients from local farms and markets. 13. Rolly's Diner. This restaurant that was established in 1940 is very well known for its Napoleons, a popular Bacolod delicacy that is usually given as pasalubong to friends and family back home. Napoleons is a sweet layered pastry with custard filling. Aside from that, it's also a favorite restaurant for local dishes. Roli's Diner is located in Villamonte, Bacolod. 14. Sharon's CANSI House. If you've ever heard of Bulalo, it would be easy enough for you to imagine what Kansi is, the Ilongo version of said Filipino dish. For those who think those two words sound made up, Bulalo and Kansi are basically dishes cooked with the same main ingredient, beef shank. However, the shank isn't necessarily the highlight of Kansi. The star is actually the bone marrow, 
which can be eaten by using the wrong end of your spoon, fork to scoop the marrow from the bone. Even shaking the bone downwards to let the marrow fall out might do the trick. Prices for order is around 350 Philippine pesos and it's a complete soup full of meat that can be shared for a few of you. Sharon's Kansi is one of the many places where you can eat Kansi in Bacolod, and is located at C58 Capital Shopping Center, Villamonte, Bacolod. 15. HYKSOS Pala Pala Seafood Restaurant In Hikesos Pala Pala Restaurant in Bacolod Bayview Food Court in Burgos Street, you'll have the chance to munch on those yummy fresh seafood of Bacolod. The process here is easy. You'll choose which fresh seafood you want from the wet market area and just let them know how you want it to be cooked. Make sure to try Sinigang na ISDA, Canillo, and Buttered Shrimps. Where to stay in Iloilo City, Hotels in Iloilo City, Philippines. Aurora 2013 Guest House. We stayed at Aurora 2013 Guest House and to be honest it was amazing. The location was great sleeping in a quiet neighborhood just one jeepney ride of Hiro Cathedral and Molo Plaza. The rooms were quite big, the staff was very welcome and made us feel as at home. The breakfast were one of our favorite food in Iloilo. If you book in this place you will understand why the air number one in Agoda and TripAdvisor reviews. Prices are starting 1700 to 2000 PHP. Go Hotels Iloilo. The rooms at Go Hotels Iloilo come with air conditioning, a personal safe, and a flat screen TV with cable channels. It also has a private bathroom with towels. 15 minute drive from SM City Iloilo and 6 minute from SM Delgado, Go Hotels Iloilo offers a 24 hour front desk, parking, and free Wi Fi in the entire hotel. At Go Hotels Iloilo, Guests can approach the friendly staff for assistance with luggage storage, laundry service and car rental arrangements. A common lounge area is also available. Their rooms are affordable for just $26 a night. Great option as cheap hotels in Iloilo City. R-I-C-H-M-O-N-D-E Hotel Iloilo. The rooms at Richmond Hotel Iloilo are equipped with a cable TV, a desk, and a safety deposit box. A private bathroom with free toiletries are provided for guests. Some rooms offer a tumble dryer and a seating area. Staff at the 24-hour front desk can help guests with any queries that they may have. Currency exchange and luggage storage may also be arranged for guests at the reception. Guests can enjoy the buffet breakfast at the on-site restaurant, The Granary. The restaurant and bar serves international cuisines. Their deluxe room costs $109 a night. J7 Hotel. Offering free Wi-Fi, J7 Hotel offers rooms in Iloilo City, 1.9 miles from Calle Real. Providing a restaurant, the property also has a terrace. The accommodations offers a 24-hour front desk. The units in the hotel are fitted with a flat-screen TV with cable channels. Each room includes a private bathroom and free toiletries, and certain rooms are fitted with a balcony. All units at J7 Hotel include air conditioning and a desk. AA La Carte, Asian or Italian breakfast can be enjoyed at the property. Their room's price starts at $80 a night. On your next trip to Iloilo, you might want to book your accommodation in Agoda or booking. If you are looking for activities to do in the Philippines, you may book with Kluk to get discounts too. Having insurance while you are traveling outside your home country is very important. Make sure that you have one too, to keep you safe in your trips around the world. There you have it, guys. Those are our top Iloilo food or Iloilo delicacies where to eat Iloilo in Iloilo for you to try next. Have you tasted any of these restaurants in Iloilo? Happy travels and eating. Slightly smiling face. Thank for watching my video. Shout out to all my Team iBags family. Thank you all my Super Chatters and join membership. Super Chatters. Team Muru. Grace Holder. Eloise Marie Rossi. Mayong Vlogs. Renee TV Vlog. Biyang Chinis. Tatsoi TV. Steven Berg's Vlogs. Itsumi Dia. Love Life USA. Goimon TV. Lakwatsarong Negro. Rian Dollar Sakura Channel. 
Lady Mystery Canada. Join Memberships. Myong Vlogs. Hayat Helwa by Linsky. Gemma Valdez OFW. Megabs HK Vlogger.